bubbly clean up here. Mm -hmm. So we do see upheaval used there, along with lava waves. What I've been wanting oh, for a very long time. So much uh, damage put out to Grey May. We do see the Mosh coming out of ETC there. So much damage being put onto Fatirio. Will he be able to get away? No. However, no, trade no, value is going to be a thing and gets the oh, kill on the Jaina, and that's four people dead for Double Trouble. There we go. As I said about the Nano landing, though I feel like the Nano was slightly early, it's still cleaned up. Oh, they get a the sleep dart on Stukov. This very well could be a kill on Stukov as well. And there's the silence silence there. bombs. Yep, they're, they're, they're looking for that bottom keep and they will oh most likely. I am unstoppable. Most likely oh, get Tracer it, gets... unless Tracer gets completely blown up by the main. That's the weakness of the Tracer. The slide now goes for the Tyrael and it doesn't have sign. Big toilet trim. They're so low on the red team. The blow up value gets Blaze as a trade. So that's one for two only, and this is gonna be huge. Use an ancestral. Oh, does he feed here? No, Falstad, he was too ambitious. And in the meantime, Undead is just AFK waiting for cooldown. AFK, there is the owl. AFK waiting for cooldown. Another owl. AFK waiting for another owl. AFK waiting for. Okay. Was taken out there, but this uh, Sephira Smash gonna hit. Anubarak did a charge from Diablo, gonna go to flip on Anubarak and isolate him. Not enough to secure the kill instead. The horrify was amazing. Uh, nice, hope. nice Twilight Dream. That oh. is going to be three dead people. But there's a Molten Core, there's a Tyrael blowing people up. Diablo is trying to kill people. The <laughs> everyone being hit by the Ra Ragnaros. You wanted Fiesta, we have Fiesta, but no, Ragnaros is 1v4 and this might not end well. He oh, does get a double kill. Taking a down two three. I'm two with two top. Looks like the blue team is kind of winning this. Oh, the arrow! Oh. That's the play I'm talking about. There we go. Yep, they need a Tyrael with them, and they're quite far away on the other side. I'm gonna go here. Okay, yeah. so uses. Oh, that's nice. They have the Gargantuan and the. So what is the Asmodan uh, dudes there? Five man stun, however, and Dragon Blade. They need Sank right now. Oh, it does get it. Medic is not quite in there. They probably get the keep, but they would all de die for this. 100%. Yeah. Okay, so stage one is completed. Yeah. Now they need Five. to wait. Minute and a half. The ult of the spawn in 20 seconds. The Auric going immediately for it. There's a good stun on the Tyrion. Nubarak falling down very low. Greymane unfortunately getting followed. But the hands of arrow. Up comes the sanctification. Everyone is going for it. All of the buttons getting pressed. There is the sound barrier as the re-engage happens for Team Haunt. The the, the Auric damage. Ah, uh, the Auric damage reduction as slowly Team Haunt will fall as they only just got level 16 in the middle of that fight. It was a deep... I think Lurie's gonna have to try and... No, wait! There. No, 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 no. Oh, he had deflect. <laughs> not Again. even close. 55 <laughs> health, not even worried. The hunt is on. See, Driver are kind of looking for him here. Could be in trouble if he's figured out... Oh, he, she <gasps> actually gets Genji <laughs> too. Yeah, one small Q is all that was needed and Genji goes down. But a lot of time traps out now for Chromie. She's gonna get a party going here as soon as someone hits one. There is one, but the sanctification is also. Hold that takes so much damage from the Chromie. He will go down from that poke. The candlelight is the Odin is done, but oh Renella, what an amazing dragon! Pushes everyone into the corner, into the wall, and that alone might have won Flavia Felix this game and pushing them towards the grand. Final! Now get it, giving up one altar in the process, so we're gonna have our first post-10 fight. Muradin going ham against the team. Greymane is there, ready to go for the back line. Kerrigan going for the Greymane, misses the combo as up comes all oh, the APOC, forcing the Dragon's Arrow to miss. Leoric is going for the March of the Black 2, back March of the Black King. Into it all, gets killed by the Kerrigan combo. The Nubarak Cocoon was used on the Greymane, has now come out from Flavia Felix. Uh, not everyone, but most people just end up dying. Alshaz is trying to get out, but there's an Alarak there. Nice dodge on both the lightning and the telekinesis. Yeah, the Discord strike was just, <laughs> let's try. And we have Frost Presence, which is not a talent I'm entirely sure about. But I think they're going to be looking to do the Chromie combo. Chromie already falling down a little low and is going to have to... <laughs> 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 <laughs>
spotted Chromie and just... It's like a headshot. It's literally a headshot to Chromie. And oh. the first blood uh, in this game goes to amazing. the Dikuli Dikuli. Congratulations to the headshot. I didn't even know that did damage.